Good evening, hello, welcome to the Triathlon Down YouTube channel and welcome to another day of triathlon training. Today is pretty much the day that most age groupers have, so I've worked all day, haven't done any training all day, been too busy and didn't get up early enough to do any tra training first thing this morning, so therefore I've just got the evening time to do my training and everything else I need, I need to do in life. Now, Liz has been 10 out of 10 and she's prepared an evening meal yesterday. It's in the fridge, so I haven't got to uh, spend any time cooking or anything. So I'm going to do a little strength and conditioning workout and then I'm going to go for a run. But the run is going to be on the treadmill because it is looking like it's going to rain and it's getting dark and I'm scared of going outside. All right. But first of all, I need to get this little guy his tea because sitting there looking at me whining and looking at his bowl means feed me, doesn't it? You've learned from the best, that's what I do. Let's go. Okay, so with the strength and condition stuff, I never really know what to record and where. So like on Strava, I won't put anything on Strava for core workouts just because I don't want to type out, I did 10 press-ups with my knees touching the floor. Um, and on Training Peaks, I never know what to record for total time because I don't think I should, let's say I spend half an hour rolling around on the floor, doing some press-ups, doing some sit-ups, Times not very many. I'm not going to put half an hour down because I was only actually exercising for probably half of that. So therefore, I'd just put like 10, 15 minutes down. But I don't know. Let me know down below though. What, what do you guys do? I'm definitely probably not going to put it on Strava. But anyway, um, this workout is going to be purely body weight. I know I've got a squat rack in the gym and some, and some weights. However, I'm going to be doing some squats, lunges. Uh, what was I going to do? Press-ups, sit-ups. I might do a little bit of body. In fact, no, I'm not going to do any, any weight stuff. Just going to be body weight stuff. So get ready for a little tiny super sick montage of me doing some things very bad that was hard that was a grand total of 15 minutes or so you like the glute bridges didn't you um yeah i don't do enough of that at all so i've said it before but hopefully trying to get into some sort of routine now we're doing that sort of thing really it's the perfect thing for me to do whilst i'm working from home like i should be able to just stand up and do that for 10 or 15 minutes like various point in the day but it's just making that time to actually do it isn't it and actually getting up and doing it so here we go got it got it got to keep going anyway i need to not get comfy on the sofa and go and get this run done let's go and talk running so just before i get on the treadmill i have just made a protein shake now the workout i'm going to do isn't going to require me needing a protein shake however over the past few weeks one of the bad habits that i've really struggled to shift with regards to my diet is having a bowl of cereal late at night like nine ten o'clock having a big bowl of cereal whether it's I don't know, cornflakes or shreddies, whatever. Uh, I, whether it's genuine hunger or not, I was probably not. It's more habit than anything. But I've tried not having it. It lasts two or three days, and I just go back to having it again. So I'm going to try and have a protein shake instead. I know I don't need to have this, but it gives me that something to have in the evening that has got some nutritional benefit and probably isn't as bad as the bowl of cereal I've been having. So I'm going to put this in the fridge so it's absolutely delicious later and probably have this later on. Liz, just come out through the door. Good evening, Elizabeth. Hello. Are you okay? Yeah, I can't see you. You had a good day at work? Thank you. Don't sound too convincing, will you? <laughs> Are you joining me in the garage? I'm hungry. Oh, watch out, guys. She's hungry. Oh, I've run this morning. Thank oh, you. snappy. What did you do this morning? Run 5k. And what pace did you run at? Nine minute mile. Nine minute mile. That's good. It's not. It's it rubbish compared to what I used to do. <laughs> Shoulda, woulda, coulda. You're on, you're on that fitness journey. Keep working. Mm. Wash your hands. Right, I'm gonna get in the garage and see you in there. Right, one more thing that I'm gonna get in the garage, I promise. If any other cat owners can empathize or explain this behavior, then I'd very much appreciate it. Um, Elizabeth has many jobs, and one of them is that she cleans out the cat's litter tray, don't you? Mm -hmm. And we, well, I think I know why, but the cat's associated Liz being here with going to the toilet. So he has not been for a week, all day. Liz has just walked through the door, and what's he just gone and done? From that away in the litter tray. <laughs> It doesn't do it when yes, I'm around. Yes, same morning. I cleaned it out three times before nine o'clock. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. He also, in the morning, if Liz is still in bed and I get up and come downstairs, he won't come downstairs with me. He'll stay up in the bedroom, whining at Liz to get upstairs to get up and give him his breakfast, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. Doesn't want me to give his breakfast. Wants it from his mum. Because I'm the best. <laughs> True. <looking> after him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to actually get on the treadmill now and do some running. <laughs> if I get copyright claimed for Zwift music. Anyway, uh, the run tonight is really nothing too interesting, so I'm sorry about that. It's a 45 minute run with five minutes tempo in, uh, after 10 minutes. 
So it's pretty much what I'd normally do on a Monday anyway, albeit I'd normally do it at lunchtime, obviously it hasn't happened today. So maybe that means that my training hasn't actually been a million miles off where it should have been. This is the first session from the Don, Flink, Don Fink competitive Ironman training plan. So let's get it done. 10 minutes, uh, 10 minutes steady, five minutes tempo. My maths is failing me. Uh, 30 minutes, thank God for that, steady, and that's it, so see you on the other side. There we go then, run done and dusted, so I ran at 7.5 miles an hour, and then I bumped it up to 8.5 miles an hour for the tempo section, which is just about 7 minute miling. Felt okay to be honest, felt quite controlled, I know I need to get the send headband on, I know. I uh, just want to give a shout out to friend of the channel, an incredible triathlete, Jimmy Kershaw, on being selected for the Movistar e-racing team this year, incredible performance. Didn't doubt him for a second, what a, what a ride in all the sort of like test events. Well done to him, look forward to following his journey this year and I'm gonna try and ride on the coattails of his success. Um, so yeah, that is it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please do give the video a thumbs up, helps other people discover the channel. And I'll see you tomorrow at 4 p.m. for plenty more of the same because we are gonna smash this year. See you later.